The images you are looking at right now are not real. Yes, I have generated all of these images by training an AI model and you can see how amazing these images look. If you show these images to someone without telling them, I'm 100% sure that they won't be able to detect that these are AI generated. It's actually that good. All I did was take some images of the person I want to replicate and train the AI model based on that and you can do it too. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can train an AI model to create amazing AI images like these with perfect character consistency. I will also show you how you can turn these images into stunning videos, upload them on Instagram and go viral. I have been getting a lot of comments from you guys on how to create consistent characters. And finally, I have found a tool through which you can achieve almost perfect character consistency. I will show you guys every single step in detail. So make sure you pay attention and watch till the end. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get started. The tool we will be using is called Ostris and it's a Flux Dev LoRa trainer. Flux is one of the best AI image generators available right now. And with Ostris, you can train and create customized models based on Flux, which can generate personalized images. Now to use this tool, you will need a GitHub account. If you don't have one, simply go to github.com and sign up using your email ID. Once that is done, click on the link in the description to open Ostris and sign up using your GitHub account from there. Now before proceeding further, I need to mention that this is a paid tool. It will cost Cost you somewhere between 250 to 500 rupees which is around three to five dollars to train the model once trained you can use it unlimited times once you've signed into ostris you'll see an interface like this but before moving ahead you will need about 15 to 20 images of the person you want to replicate you can simply download them from google or pinterest these are the images i've downloaded make sure that all the images are of good quality and that the face is clearly visible also include different types of images with various facial angles and expressions for better results you don't need to worry about the image dimensions. Different dimensions won't create any problems. Just ensure the images are clear with varying face angles, like mine. Once you've downloaded all the images, select them, right click and choose compress to zip file to turn them into a zip file. Next, come back to Ostris and click on the destination section, then select create a new model and give it a name, just like I did here. Now we need to upload the zip folder of the images we downloaded. To do that, click here and upload the zip file. Once that's done, you'll need to create a trigger word or token to call this model later on. This simply means that when you use this trigger word, the AI will recognize that you are referring to this particular character and will generate images based on this character only. Next, in this section, you'll need to specify what the images represent like a prefix. In this case, I have set photo of Sydney because I'm trying to create a LoRa for a human being. If you're trying to do it for a style, you can say something slightly different like in the style of followed by your trigger word. Now you'll need to set the number of generation steps. This is the most important part of the process as it determines how many steps the AI will take to replicate your character's images. The larger the steps, the more computing power and time it will take to train the model. The default value is 1000, but you can experiment with this to get the result you want. I've experimented a few times and for me, anything between 2000 and 2100 works really well. So that you use, I'll set it to this value and you can copy this as well. After that, you don't need to change anything else. Just click on create training and it will start training the model. This process can take some time, so be patient. It may take 30 to 45 minutes to train the model. Once it's done, you'll see something like this. You can see that the model was successfully trained and here you can check that it took around 40 minutes. Now you can download the weights if you want and use them anytime. And now it's time to run the model. To do that, simply click on run trained model and it will take you to this interface. Now this is the section where you need to enter a prompt. I'll provide a simple prompt like this and don't forget to include the trigger word in your prompt. If you forget the trigger word, no need to worry. The model will always show it here as a reminder. Next, from here, you can select the desired aspect ratio. I'll set it to 69. Then, from here, you can select the number of outputs. I'll just keep it at the default setting. Then in this section, you can adjust how strongly the main LoRa is applied to the image. I'll also leave this at the default setting, but you can play around with it to get your desired result. Next, the number of steps determines the quality of the output image. The larger the number, the better the quality. Though it will take more time to generate, I'm keeping it at the default value for this image, but for the next image, I'll increase it to the maximum value to show you the result. Next, I'll keep these two settings at default and I'll increase the prompt strength to the maximum value. This ensures that the model adheres to our prompts much better. After that, you can also change the output image format if you like and then click on run. It doesn't take too long to generate and here's the output. You can see how amazing this image looks. It exactly resembles Sydney Sweeney. The model has beautifully imitated her eyes, cheeks, 
and even lips. This is absolutely mind-blowing. If you show this to someone, they wouldn't even realize it's not the real Sydney Sweeney. It's that good. Let's try one more. This time, I'll give it this prompt. Photo of Sydney dressed as Wonder Woman. Then turn the number of steps all the way up and click on Run. And here's the output. Just look at this. It looks absolutely awesome. Imagine the number of likes and shares you'll get on Instagram for this picture. It's stunning. Let's try one more. This time, I'll give it the prompt. Image of Sydney dressed as Superwoman. Then click on Run. And here's the output. This looks so nice. The details in this image are incredible. So this is how you can train an AI model to create images with character consistency. Now let me show you how you can turn these images into stunning videos. To turn the images into videos, we will use a free tool called Minimax AI. It's the best AI video generator I have ever used. I've already made a detailed tutorial on how to use this tool to create amazing videos. So feel free to check that out. To get started, just click the link in the description and sign up with your email. After signing up, you will get three days of unlimited free video generation. After that, there will be some limits, but it will still be free. Now to generate the video, first upload the image for a scene by clicking here, then enter a prompt. I'll give it this simple prompt and hit generate. And this is the output. Just look at the result. It looks amazing. Trust me, you won't get results like this from any other AI video generator. This one is the best. In Minimax, you can queue up to three tasks to speed up the process. I know the generator might be a bit slow due to high demand, but hey, it's free, so no complaints. And if you want faster results without watermarks, you can consider purchasing their subscription. I will honestly buy a subscription for this because this is too good. Just imagine the kind of content you can create by combining these two tools. You are only limited by your imagination. If you found this video useful, make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep grinding.